Yo, 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 my fellow shredders, my fellow motocross and supercross and woods and dirt bike riders and ATV riders, my fellow legends, what's good? Hopefully you guys, actually I know you guys are good, you guys are the best. You want to know why you're the best? Because you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video and this channel. That's why you guys are awesome. Legendary, as a matter of fact, y'all are. But... Wanna know what's not so good? Is this news I have today? Oh my gosh. So I stumbled upon this story um, out of curiosity when me and my buddy were talking about um, all time supercross wins for each of the riders that have been in the game for at each point in time. You know, like McGrath era, Carmichael era, Villapoto era, Dungey, all that good stuff. And so I just so happened to um come across the site that had the number of wins all time for each rider and I didn't see a certain rider on the supercross list and so I wondered I did some googling typed in Zach Osborne supercross wins and the first article that comes up is the title is Zach Osborne announces retirement Oh no, Zach, no, he's gone, oh, he's gone. Look at this guys, you ready? All right, so check it out. This is what happens when I type in this in Google and this is the first result right here. Zach Osborne announces retirement. So let's click on it, let's read the article together. Zach Osborne announces retirement, November 22nd, 2021. That's only a couple days ago, yeah. Because tomorrow is Thanksgiving, which is the 20. So, yeah, a couple days ago. Is it? Uh, so, yeah, fresh news. I haven't heard anybody cover it yet. So, let's get into it. Wrapping up an illustrious career spanning over 16 years. It's a long time. Zach Osborne has announced his retirement from Supercross. Sad. Over the last seven years, the 32 year old. Man, I didn't know he was 32. He's getting up there. The 32-year-old has secured four major U.S. championships and countless triumphs with Rockstar Energy Husqvarna factory racing team. And for that, Husqvarna Motorcycles would like to would like to express a sincere thanks to Zach as he moves into his next chapter. What a sad intro paragraph. Oh, man. Zach, we're going to miss you, buddy. Oh, man. Such a good rider to watch. Savage, for sure. Known for his tenacity and never give up mentality, Osborne has established himself as a fan favorite over the years while amassing an impressive list of accomplishments together with Rockstar S together with Rockstar Energy Husqvarna factory racing. Beginning a tenacious run in 2017 aboard the FC250, Osborne swept both the 250SX Eastern Championship and the AMA 250MX Championship in the same season before returning to successfully defend his 250SX Eastern title in 2018. How about that? He stepped up to the Premier 450 class in 2019 and he quickly hit his stride on the FC450 Rockstar Edition. Finishing on the podium seven times, Six in motocross, one in supercross during his rookie season. Impressive. Furthermore, proving how much of a savage Zach Osborne truly is. Not was, is. He went on to secure his first career 450 SX main event win at the Salt Lake City SX finale in 2020. See, that's why I couldn't find it on the uh, list of riders that was, or the, yeah, the list that I was talking about earlier because last time it was updated was like 2017 or 14 or something like that not 2020 so if zach won his first uh, supercross in 2020 that would be why i couldn't find him on the list therefore leading me to google um what we just saw and now we're here so hey welcome uh take this time if you haven't already you know to uh like share subscribe or like not share you have to stay here just like and subscribe give me that thumbs up you know what i mean give it a little tap 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 rooski and uh, hit that subscribe button, turn it gray. Notification bell too, so you don't miss nothing. It's important, mucho importante. That means very important. We've been over this. And he, okay, so 
He went on to secure his first career 450 SX main event win at the Salt Lake City SX finale in 2020, and he set fire throughout the summer, claiming the claiming the 450 MX championship in what would ultimately serve as his last full season of racing due to an ongoing back in, back injury throughout 2021. See, a lot of us had suspicion that that was going to be the end of it for him. Bummer. It's so sad. That sucks, man. Ending his career on a high note with plenty to be proud of, Husqvarna Motorcycle sends a big congratulations to Zach on a successful career. Congratulations, Zach. You're a bad dude, man. Definitely had a killer career. Sad to see you go, but just know that you killed it. And me, as a fan, love watching you ride, dude. Lots of entertainment. Lots of good riding. Good watching. It's good for the eyes and the soul. Whoa, excuse me. Can't you see we're doing something here? Reading something. Gosh. Quote from Zach Osborne himself right here. <clears throat> After 16 years of professional racing, the time has come for me to call it a career. I've tried everything in my power over the last six months to get my health back up to the standard it needs to be to race at the highest level. And after just a few weeks of riding Supercross at full intensity, I realized it just wasn't meant to be. I'm so grateful for the journey I've had as a professional. I've met so many incredible people and been a part of some of the finest organizations in motorsports. This was not an easy decision or one I took lightly, but it was the right decision. I'm forever grateful to my family, fans, and teams for their support throughout my time as a professional. In the next chapter, I want to focus my time more on giving back to those who have given to me. My cat's trying to butt in. Felix, get down. Quote from Stephen Westfall, the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna factory racing team manager. Man, it's, a, it's almost as bad as Rocky Mountain WPS or whatever. Rockstar Energy Husqvarna factory racing team. Quote, I've had the pleasure of knowing Zach for a long time, dating back to his amateur days, and it's been awesome getting to work with him for the past seven years. Zach helped put Rockstar Energy Husqvarna factory racing on the map, winning four championships for the brand and being a good mentor for the younger riders. Way to go, Zach. He has had a great career, and we wish him all the best in his next adventure. End quote. Quote from Robert Jonas, VP Motorsports Off-Road. Zach's achievements during his time with the team has really elevated the Husqvarna Motorcycles brand in the USA. He won four championships in the AMA Supercross and Pro Motocross on both the FC250 and FC450 machinery, and without a doubt he was at his very best during the seasons that he raced for us. His career was not a conventional one, but through hard work and dedication he really emerged as one of the best racers in the world in recent years. On behalf of Husqvarna Motorcycles, I would like to congratulate Zach for everything that he has achieved with us, and I wish him well for the future. Felix, will you quit? God, ornery. Osborne's pioneering roots actually began with the Austrian-based company more than 20 years ago. Really? As he launched his amateur motocross career with KTM in 1996. I did not know that. I was only five years old. A young Osborne became the second ever KTM Junior Racing Supercross Champion in 98, before going on to headline the brand's mini bike efforts on the new KTM 65. Little six speed demons M65s are, I'll tell you what, boy. Hauling little bad dudes. All little savages. Every single one of them rides one of them dudes so fast. Sick. Following impressive results at the national level, Osborne became an instrumental part in developing the new generation 85SX in the early 2000s, which has significantly impacted the bike's success over the last two decades. Every Savage Super Mini rider has pretty much been on one of them 85SXs. <laughs> Super Mini, they just, they cruised. Like, man, they're so fast. KTM really nailed it with their Super Minis. All their bikes, really, but especially their Super Minis. Little rocket ships. Crazy. He later took his talents overseas to compete in the FIM World Motocross Championship, where he collected 14 career FIM World Motocross Championship MX2 podiums, a British MX2 championship, and one career FIM World Motocross win. Impressive, Mr. Osborne. He also represented the U.S. as a member of the prestigious Motocross of Nations team, as well as the World Trophy team at the International Six Days Enduro. I forgot he did that Enduro. <laughs> Man. That's awesome. 
Oh, and that's the end. Well, guys, that's it. Won't be seeing Zach Osborne on TV racing dirt bikes next year for 2022. And that's sad. But I'd like to take this time to personally thank Zach Osborne. I know he won't see this, but I just want to say I appreciate all the years of entertainment and great riding and watching you shred. Because, man, it was just so fun watching you just kill it out there. You're a bad dude, Zach, and I wish you well in your next chapter. So, thanks. Appreciate it, and good luck. So, now, I must thank my legends out there for watching this video. If you haven't already, I'm giving you two opportunities now. So, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure you turn that one gray, too. And uh, write a comment down below. Tell me how you guys feel about Zach retiring. Um, does it upset you? Are you sad to see him go? Are you excited about it because it kind of thins out the herd a little bit? You know, how do you feel about it? Let me know down below in the comment section. How do you feel about Zach peacing out on us and not racing no more? I mean, back injury, what are you going to do? He tried. <laughs> you got to give the guy credit for that. Like, that's heart. It's definitely a bummer. But, you know, I'm definitely sad to see him go. I'm not excited for him to be gone. <laughs> thinning out the herd, whatever. No way. So... All right, guys, that's it. Legendary, out of here. Stay legendary, y'all. Peace out. This is